back to Lone Oak Farm. I am Farmer Min. Today we are here with Farmer Manu. We are here with James. And I tell you one thing, uh, my agronomist guy, Donnie, uh, he's said that he needs to buy many copies of FS19. So he is working for us today. He is planting some wheat for us. I think he is off on field 42. But we've had some big changes here on the farm. As you can see, I treated in my pickup truck. I got myself a dually. Yep, black with the orange rims, I am set to go. I got the fifth wheel plate here put up on the store. So I am good to go. But look at that forecast. It does not look good. We have hail scheduled for later today, plus three days of rain and four days of snow. So we are going to try to get things wrapped up here in the near future. What we got going on is uh, Donnie. He is out planting some wheat on field 42, our winter wheat crop. Uh, Farmer Mon has got the combine up and running. I think. Uh, Farmer Manu is over on field 34 getting those soybeans off and James is over at the bunker so we're going to take off there first look at this you gotta love it 6.7 liter I'm telling you I can really cruise now I am such a goal nothing better than a pickup truck when you get in there you get that new new pickup truck smell oh it's awesome awesome just not going to let James drive it though nope James can't drive my pickup truck sorry buddy but anyways, what we have going on is the silage at the bunker is fermented. So James has been working hard. He's got everything all set up, ready to go. So he is going to try to start this process and get the silage sold. Because as you can see, we have 6709 bucks left in the bank. That is not good. And look at that. James has got it going. Uh, you think it's going to work, James? I hope so. Okay. James hopes so. James is optimistic. James is optimistic. Let's see. Make sure we have our time set at, oops, five. Yep, want that set at five there. That should work. Let's see. There goes the one conveyor. It's selling. The other one is going. Both conveyors are selling. Uh, the BGA was nice enough to let us use their uh, wheel loader here. So we have that up here ready to go. I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to do how we're going to be able to keep this going, but we're going to give it a best shot. James is going to use his imagination. He's going to do, um, I don't know, uh, see what he can do. James has got a special touch. He's got a special touch. He's trying to get this done so he can go celebrate Thanksgiving tomorrow. But, uh, oop, careful there, James. Don't fall off the edge of the bunker. But 2.9 million liters of silage we had in here. So um, that should add some income. Look at that. We've already made 4000 bucks. So James has got that under control. That is a good sign. Now, what I need to do is I need to get back to the farm. I have the one semi-load, uh, 70,000 liters of sugar beets in it. Um, I need to get that sold real quick because then i got to get to the field. And uh, Farmer Manu is, um, whoa, boy, I got the brakes fixing this thing too. He is busy combining soybeans, so i got to get the semi to him. So... Uh, he can unload but as you can see field four is ready to go whoa stay on the road for crying out loud field four is ready to go field 34 is ready to go and then we have the two fields two soybean fields for the um, ian and sons that we uh, have been contract to take care of too so we have to do that as well um we have made a few different purchases on the farm the frame s pack that we had uh we traded that in we got rid of that and we ended up getting a uh, case Ecolo plow. So that is sitting with the T8 down at field 33. Because we also made another purchase too. We bought field 33. And it will all be put together here shortly. Which I, uh, I will lay out for you. Our poplars, as nice as they look, still are not ready to be done yet. Boy, I can't drive in a straight line today. I must be taking driving lessons from golf cart jockey. Um, this is terrible. Oop. There's Farmer Manu. He's full. Oh, crap. I'll hurry up there, Farmer Manu. Trust me. I'll get there, buddy. I'll get there. <laughs> Yipes. Let's see. I probably should... Um... I suppose I could bring you the grain cart there, Farmer Manu, but I don't have a tractor here to bring you the grain cart. At least that'll let you keep you going there. Uh, oh, wait. I have, the T, um... I have the T6 here. Maybe that'll at least pull it. Bring it over. Pull it over there. I'll get that over to you so you can keep going. And then I'll get that semi unloaded. But yeah, 
big thing look at that we are on the fifth day of autumn the winter is approaching um we are nearing the end we are nearing the end of our second year here um like i said the whole purpose was um to get where's the grain cart somebody stole the grain cart um must be around the back here the whole purpose was to get our crops sold make enough money the silage and everything to uh, pay off the debt so it'll be interesting to see how we end up with that um we'll go through our bins here and see what we have um have in storage and then uh, kind of go from there but i think um we got a lot of wheat i'll tell you that much we got a lot of wheat um what do we have almost three hundred thousand liters of wheat in storage so far I think there's a hundred and some odd thousand liters of soybeans that we had from the first couple days of the soybean harvest. Um, so we're sitting pretty good. We are sitting pretty darn good with the crops in the bin. So it, as long as the prices go up, we should be okay. Should be okay. Get our winter crops, our winter crops in the ground, which Donnie is up doing. So yeah. So in all, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, let's see. I'll unload you here, Farmer Manu, and then, um, let's see, and then I gotta head back and get the uh, truck to, um, Hollister's, get those sugar beets sold. I gotta check the price of sugar beets. I don't even know what the price of sugar beets is, because we had 70,000 liters, uh, stored, plus some on the ground. If I remember right, let's see. There you go. That'll work. Thank you, thank you. Happy combining to you, sir. Happy combining. Well, as you can see, the money has just stopped. <laughs> as I was just going to say that, 100. Oh, no, there it's going. Okay. What is the silage price at? Uh, did we lose a little bit there? Maybe um, silage 247. No, we're okay. 247, it's going. 112,000. So we've reached over 100,000. The last time I checked with James, we have um, sold about 300 and some odd thousand liters of uh, silage in the bunker. But... I am down here next to uh, Farmer Manu. I am kind of keeping track on him, uh, bringing up the semi when he needs to get unloaded. But, anyways, what I was going to tell you is down here, we are on field 33. This was a potato field that had been harvested, and we had the opportunity to purchase this puppy. So we did. We used some of our sugar beet money, and we purchased it 51000 or something like that. It was not a big deal. Um, and like I said, I got rid of the Framus pack, and we got the case Ecolo. E e e e um, forget the number on that, but you know what I, you know what it is. The plow, and then also they had a special New Holland ran a special on tracks. So our T8 here, we ended up trying out the tracks in the back. Now I got to tell you, I'm not big of a, I'm not that much of a fan of them, uh, but we thought we'd give it a shot. So what I'm thinking is these fields, I want to plow all together. Um, that would be looking at the map 28, 32, 33, 34. I want to put this all together and make that one nice big field. Um, I could actually combine then 42, which uh, agronomist Donnie is working on, but I think I'm going to keep that sec separate. I don't need to make a huge field. Um, I want to be able to have some kind of a crop. Um, rotation have enough field for crop rotation so i do have to plow this field eventually because um we just took it over so we need that for plowing but i am going to work on uh, combining these together and then i can plow um plow this puppy in here let's see if i can find a nice uh nice straight line i like this plow you know it's it's interesting um uh, i'm sure everybody here was a big fan of the jimpa plow when that came out um big big fan of that and then of course then we had the web plow come out and i was a bigger fan of that and now we have this puppy uh, a little more difficult to get down the highway but um uh, still uh it is pretty darn cool pretty darn cool are you almost full there farmer mono do i need to come get you already or are you okay no i'm okay I'm okay about half full okay good so we'll plow this in here That'll combine these two, and then we'll have to get the, uh, the little path in between 33 and is that 30, 33 and 32, 
and then um, between this and 28. Now, Donnie, the agronomist guy who's doing some fine and outstanding wheat planting, he had uh, field 28 to be soybeans and field 34 where uh, Farmer Mondo is here on corn. So we're going to have to make a decision if we're going to do all the field, all one crop, if we're going to split it. But then again, if we're going to split it, there's no sense combining them together. But um, I'm trying to look. Looking at the planting map, we only had corn um, on two fields. Our big field down south and this one here. So I'm wondering if we should just make this one big corn field, which uh, kind of makes sense because then we can use some for silage, which is good money, and then for the pigs as well and some to sell. So I'm kind of leaning towards corn there, but um, I don't know. I'll get Donnie on the radio. Donnie, what do you think? Are you leaning corn or are you leaning soybeans? Uh, I think uh, corn, actually. See, that's that's what that's why you have agronomists because they they help you make these decisions and they uh, tell you what you should and should not do. So, agronomist Donnie said, uh, "Oh, you got to be kidding me." You can't plant this little dirt. You can't plow this little dirt track here. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Well, we'll have a road in between. We'll have a road in the field there. That's okay. Half a road. It's not the end of the world. Um, not the end of the world. a leggy load in got a leggy here all of a sudden around the farm um this is a full semi 70,000 liters of soybeans off that field that is not too shabby so we're going to put that in storage i think we should have well we should have plenty of room in storage here for soybeans um we'll dump this off here and then we'll see where we're at but look at look at the bank balance man 224,000 we are up to james is doing you know an est an astounding job outstanding astounding same kind of two words but kind of the same meaning um up there at the bga getting those uh, getting that silage sold the two belt conveyor systems seem to work out pretty good for us so that is um awesome but let's take a look we have in storage at the moment we have 324,000 liters of wheat 169,000 liters of barley uh canola we only have 20,000 liters 160,000 liters of sunflowers, 263 now of soybeans, and 111 of corn. So we are doing pretty good there. Yep. Oh, and 6,400 liters of wood chips. What do you know? Um, not too bad. 
So, I was just trying to think. I don't think there's going to be any kind of crop prices worthwhile here in the near future. Um, yeah, wheat, barley come in the winter here, canola too. Um, sunflowers, yeah, that should be okay. The soybeans, our big cash crop, is not going to do anything until, you know, early midsummer. So, corn, we're at the bottom of corn. So, I don't know what we're going to do about that because, uh, in order to pay off this debt, we need that soybean crop to uh, provide some income. So, we'll have to kind of contemplate that. Um, I guess after the silage is sold, then we'll see where we stand with the bank balance and what we um, owe and kind of go from there. Um, but the rest of the crops, we will certainly get, um, get sold this winter uh, before we. Uh, Decide what we're going to do here on Lone Oak. Uh, be nice to take a nice summer vacation somewhere. But um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Farmer Manu is pressing hard, man. He is getting this uh, field done just before this uh, hailstorm is supposed to hit us. That will be a good thing. The silage, uh, the silage should keep commencing with the hail. Um, but that would put a damper into our um, harvesting plans. Um, from here... We're going to go over to field four, and we are going to get that field harvested, and then we have the two here for Ian and Sons to get done as well. Um, Susie Cream Cheese, believe it or not, uh, came out today and said, hey, I want to do some work. So Susie is right over the little horizon there, um, getting that last field 33 plowed up for us. So that is actually pretty good there. Um, trying to think. What else... Um, what else we need to get done before winter? Uh, the animals are okay. We have plenty of silage. We have plenty of power food. We have plenty of hay bales. We have plenty of straw bales. So we're all set to go there. We do have a whole bunch of... Um, thinking of that now. We do have like seven pallets of wool, I think. So um, wool price is right now 3300 bucks. I can't remember what we sold wool for last year. What a good price is for wool. Um... I just don't remember. Um, when is the high point for wool? Speaking of it, wool. Oh, boy, yeah. Late winter, spring. Yeah, spring is the high point. Um, so there's probably no sense in selling wool now. We'll wait until we get the best price for that. But uh, looks like we're going to finish up this field. No problem whatsoever. And we'll get up to field four, hopefully, before the hail. And uh, we'll see how that goes. It's a good thing here at Manning's of Lone Oak that we have a good supply in the warehouse of uh, conveyors. I am picking up another uh, conveyor here with the uh, store tractor. So yes, so I am using uh, store equipment for my own personal use, but I can do that because I am the boss here. So I am picking up a number of Grimmy. Uh, James has done, like I said, an outstanding job keeping this uh, up and running. So it's kind of a... Uh, Kind of an interesting thing we got going on here. You keep the one side going, and then you can um, add, extend the other side, and the price doesn't change at all. So this is uh, this is actually working out pretty good. So as you can see, we have the north side conveyors, which are up and running. That has been a constant um, flow. And then the, uh, the south side, we can uh, add to. So... That's kind of what we're doing here. So let's put, put this one. Maybe we don't even need to add it yet. Um, I was thinking we were kind of getting to the end here. We added another uh, conveyor to the um, north side. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking pretty good here. So this will this will be ready to go there. Um, that conveyor will be ready to go on this side. We need to extend it, but we still have plenty of room. You see, uh, we can extend... Um, this one out here even more so we have plenty of room to go back and uh, we have an extra conveyor here so we're sitting pretty good with the silage uh, 260,000 we are up to that's not too bad considering we started off today with six thousand dollars in the bank um, not or eleven thousand I can't eleven thousand not too shabby so we're making money um, and silage prices are holding well, now they dropped a little bit, 241. Um, I think the highest I've seen it uh, is 253. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're, we're okay. 
James, he's got the wheel loader. He's doing an outstanding job. Um, that continues. Update on uh, the combine. Field 34 has been completed. So the um, combine is going to move up to field 4 here. We'll get that done. That means I better go down and get that semi and get that moved up to Farmer Manu. And Agronomist Donnie has got uh, wheat planted in 42, has got canola planted in 31, and now he is moving on to field 38. That is our uh, next canola field. And then we will wrap up our winter planting with field 17. That will be, um, that'll be barley. So we're sitting pretty good there. So James got this under control. I'm going to get the semi, and we'll get set up to combine on field 4. Maybe, just maybe, we'll probably get up there, get things going, and then it'll start hailing. And then that'll be the end of that. But we will see. What's well, as you just saw, uh, three great demand prices just <laughs> came up in a row. Um, I don't think I've ever had that happen to me in all the hours I played this game. But we have a great demand for wool. We have a great demand for wheat. And we have a great demand for wood chips. Now, uh, it's it's like the game knows that I'm in dire death and need as much money as I can. Um, so, let's take a look. Uh, wheat, the great demand price came up at four, no, five, five fifty four at Agra XJS, right up where I am. We have three hundred and twenty four thousand liters of wheat. Uh, we don't need wheat because we have another 169,000 of barley. So if we figure this out, 324,000. So let me get my handy dandy Minnesota calculator out here. 324,000 liters. Um, that'll be that. And then we'll times that by 555. That's $179,000 uh, bucks for our wheat crop. That is not too bad. So that's another $179,000, $180,000, we'll just say. And then wool. We were just looking at wool. It was like $3,300 or something like that. Does anybody remember? Yeah. It was like thirty. Yep. Wool has now 30, jumped up. $3,200. bucks, And now it's jumped up to 4401 so, with that said, and I think I have seven pallets, so that would be, what, 14,000 liters? Is that right? Uh, no. Yes, I think so. Yeah, no. 4,401 per 1,000 liters of wool. Um, let's see. And I have four, let's see, yeah, each pallet 2,000. I got seven pallets, that's 14,000. Um, times. So that's another 61,000 liters just in wool. So 180 and 60. That's 240,000 liters between those two uh, products. So um, my agronomist Donnie says I have an 18-hour window for this great demand for uh, wheat. So as Farmer Manu continues that... Uh, Harvesting on field four here. We're going to head back to the farm. We're going to get a load of wheat. And we're going to start selling wheat. Head back up here, being that we're right up here. Uh, XJS. We can kind of do this in between our um, our corn. Boy, is it getting leggy. Look at that. Holy buckets. That is, I've never had that much problem before. I think it has something to do with the silage being sold. So... Um, We'll get a load of wheat, we'll sell that, and then I might get my pickup truck and get the uh, flatbed trailer hooked up to it. And I might, I'm going to go sell that wool. I might as well do that, too. Um, do you want to bring me the chaser bin, sir?
here at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The rain has come. We never got any hail, but we got some rain. Um, so that has shut down the uh, harvesting and the planting for today. We got maybe half, if half, of number four uh, has been harvested. And uh, field 38 has been planted. So the big bud and the planter is sitting up at the uh, field 17. That's going to be a barley field. So when it uh, dries out, rain stops, dries out, we'll get that planted. But as you can see, the silage selling continues. This uh, two-row, two-belt system thing seems to be working out pretty good here. What uh, James has accomplished is just as long as you keep one running, you can adjust the other one and go back and forth. So we should have um, enough belt coverage to... Uh, get the whole thing done see there you go that the, the uh, north belt is still running to keep the price consistent while he adjusts the uh, south belt system and things work out pretty good that way um james how much silage do we have left 1.1 1. 1. 1. 1.1 million liters to go we started off with 2.9 um our bank balance is just about to hit 500,000, a half a million that is not too bad, being that we start off the day with, um, I think, 11000 bucks. So we're doing pretty good there. And, of course, we still have the great demand for wheat. We have the great demand for wool. So I am going to uh, work on that the rest of the day. That might be the next little episode. I'll get the wool sold. I'll get the wheat hauled up here for the great demand. And uh, life will be good. But with that said, we're going to end it there for today. Um, the rain has kind of... Um, Kind of uh, put a damper in it, but we'll all go and we'll all go have a cold one, and we will uh, chill out for the day. But a big thanks to um, James and Farber Manu for uh, coming to work today. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. They must have—I don't know—they were fishing or what they were doing. Who knows? Um, and a also big thanks to uh, Agronomist Donnie. Oh, there he is uh, for helping out on the farm today. Um, sadly enough, Donnie, your check will be in the mail, buddy. Your check will be in the mail. Um, <laughs> Other than that, hey, uh, as the rain falls and the silage selling continues on Lone Oak Farm, Farmer Man, tell you, have yourself a great day and keep them between the ditches. So long.